Okay, here we are. We've got the device switched on. As you can see, this is the normal HTC TouchFlow UI. Not the TouchFlow 3D, but the TouchFlow UI, the first one that he uh, came out with. You've got your clock, alarm, date, notification of new messages, new SMS, and missed calls. You also cycle through. You've got quick access to your call favorites. Weather application again. I've got this set up as Newcastle upon time. Hopefully it's not going to rain all day Saturday, but Sunday looks good. You also got a quick launcher where you can put your favorite apps in there and settings for your phone as well, vibration, stuff like that. I mentioned before it is a phone device. However, whether you'd actually use this as your uh, your phone is, is subjective. What you do have to do if you're going to use this as a phone, you have to connect up the wired headset or a Bluetooth headset. It does have a, a microphone and speaker built into the phone. But uh, the problem with it is the speaker on the phone is actually designed for just speaker phone desktop use. So in other words, if you're in a public place, everybody would be able to hear every word of your conversation, either your voice and the, the voice of the guy you're talking to or the lady you're talking to on the other end. So uh, not really the best. Video calls available as well because you've got your VGA camera on the front. Again, Bluetooth or a wired headset is a necessity. So we'll close that down. Go back to the home screen. The device comes with the full the full office mobile suite which is the very latest version uh, one point of note if you do create a, um, a document a new document with word mobile on this uh, particular device anything that you save will be saved in the docx format which is the latest office 2007 format so you might have a problem where people if you send it word documents to or excel documents they won't be able to open them because of this doc or docx or xlsx format so be careful with that keyboard i mentioned before it's haptic um, basically what you get when you press a button i don't know whether you can pick that noise up but it's very quiet but you get a little beep and also vibration on the key so you can feel it and i, I, I think it's quite a nice keyboard to type on um, if we just give you an example You can see, leaning over the top of the camera, I still managed to type that pretty accurately and quite fast. I actually let my wife have a look at this, who's a, um, a PA, and she was she really enjoyed using the keyboard, which I was actually amazed by, because it doesn't like small devices, but uh, I think that one of the best things about this device is that it's got has a, a five inch vertical corner to corner diagonal screen, and it's very, very easy to see and read and use, so I think that's one of the benefits of this device. And th another thing that feature, it has Opera Mobile 9.5 built into this and uh, I have to say it really really works well on this device and I think that's because of the size of the screen because uh, I use Opera Mobile on the Diamond and I, it wasn't a bad experience but it was nowhere near as enjoyable as this experience it, it's just so easy to read stuff and as a, as a ebook reader this device would be absolutely ideal I think zooming in double click Zoom out, double click. No, it doesn't really do it. Moving around. As I say, it's, it's a very, very nice experience to surf the internet on. The device also comes with uh, GPS built in. And I haven't tested that as yet, but again, it's an assisted GPS. So it downloads the data from the, uh, from the network to get a quick fix on the satellite positions to help you get a fix and get away, get headed to where you want to be much easier. Uh, Windows Live built into it, streaming media players, um, there's also an RSS hub which is ideal for bringing your feeds down from the net, Opera browser which you mentioned, Java client, this uh, Jet Set print, you can add a network printer, I haven't done that but I, I have tested, I tested earlier today and I added my uh, HP 4200 network printer upstairs and managed to print a Word document without no problem, really handy thing to have, you've got a, a printer on the network at home or in the office and uh, your usual file sharing and you can also tether the unit to a PC to use the internet connection cams a 3.2 megapixel camera and uh, it seemed to take pretty good pictures again in the review I'll take a couple of samples I'll stick those on the review so you can check it out and see what, the, what you think of that 
And that's about it really, I can't think of anything else to mention for now. Uh, I just wanted to give you a quick overview, a quick look around the device. Um, you can turn touch low 3D on and off obviously. TV out, I mentioned before, has various settings, composite S video, NTSC, PAL. You can enable it from here. Um, connection to an external monitor, handy thing to have if you're an office warrior and you like to go out and give presentations, might be something instead of carrying your laptop around you can take this. So again, plenty of storage built in, 16 gigabytes. So far, I'm very impressed with it. I haven't decided where it sits with me, whether it's a phone or whether it's a UMPC or whether it's a bit of everything built in, I'm not sure yet. But uh, so far, very, very impressed with it. Nice keyboard, beautiful screen, easy to use, excellent battery life. Lasts much, much longer than the diamond that I looked at the other day. Uh, so far, big thumbs up for me. So there you go. Thanks very much, Chris from Mobile Tech Alex, with a quick look around the HTC X7510. Thank you.